Good morning, everyone. My name is Haley Archer, and it's time to get right. Today, we're going to be covering all the hot topics happening in and outside of school. To start things off, we have a little segment that all you gamers will enjoy. Let's go to Marco and the Gamer Zone for PlayStation. Hello everybody, welcome to the Gamer Zone. My name is Mark and today I'm going to be talking about PlayStation and why you should buy the PS5. One reason is the PS5 has 667.2 gigabytes for games while the rest of the 157.8 gigabytes is for the system files and if that is enough storage then you can always buy one terabyte hard drive. Another reason is the PS5 DualSense Edge controllers offers many more additional features than Xbox Elite Series 2 controllers, such as haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, a trackpad, and a built-in microphone, which can be useful for games and apps. A third reason is their games such as Horizon Zero Dawn, Marvel Spider-Man, Ghost of Tsushima, and The Last of Us Part 1 and 2. The last reason is their exclusives such as Spider-Man Miles Morales, Horizon Forbidden West, God of War Ragnarok. To put it short, the PS5 is worth buying for its storage, controllers, games, exclusives, and experience. Well, that's it for today in the Gamer Show. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and has a good day. Bye bye. Thank you, Marco, for the helpful information. I think I might get a PlayStation in the future. But fortunately, the games aren't over just yet because we now have Brian with his Gamer Zone for Nintendo. Hello everyone, I'm Brian and for this section of the Gamer Zone, we'll be looking at three video game exclusives available right now for the Nintendo Switch. Ever since the Switch came out in 2017, there have been many games that were added to the eShop's library. These are the best exclusive games to have if you plan on buying a Switch. Super Mario Odyssey is a great open world game that takes you on an adventure you'll never forget. Go with Mario and Cappy as they set out to rescue Princess Peach and Tiara from Bowser. Go to different worlds, meet new friends, defeat wacky bosses, and put a stop to Bowser's evil plans. It truly is an Odyssey. True to its name, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the ultimate Smash Bros. game you will have ever played. Every fighter from previous titles returned to compete in the all-out brawl, as well as new characters who make their debut as a fighter in this game. Play as the Italian plumber Mario, the speedy hedgehog Sonic, the electric rat Pikachu, and so many others. The game's quote says it best, everyone is here. Gliding in with his iconic sword and shield is Link with his game, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild is an open world game where the main protagonist, Link, wakes up after a hundred years of slumber, only to have no memory of anything. As the game progresses and Link has gone through numerous adventures, Link slowly starts remembering everything and realizes his true mission, which is to finish what Calamity Ganon started a hundred years ago and free Princess Zelda. There are many games that are exclusive to the Nintendo Switch, but these ones are the best they have to offer. Maybe there will be other games that top these three off, but until then, I'm Brian and this has been the Gamer Zone. Amazing, Brian! I think we're all looking forward to playing those awesome games. Now for our next segment, we have Gabe and a recap of what happened at this year's Oscars. What's up everyone? On this segment of the 3Ms, where we talk about music, movies, and media. 
I'm your host, Gabe, and today we'll be talking about the Oscars that just happened a few weeks ago. Specifically, let's talk about the winner of the Best Supporting Actor category, Ki Hu Quinn. Ki Hu Quinn is an American actor of Chinese descent who started his acting career with the movie Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom where he had a small part. Still, from that small part, his name took off. After his first role, he partook in another cult classic movie, The Goonies. After acting in a few movies in the past 30 years, he landed his biggest role in almost 40 years, Everything, Everywhere, All At Once. He won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor, and his speech inspired many. He talks about his dream of winning the Oscar and all the people that helped him get to the point that he is right now. Let's listen to some of that speech. I owe everything to the love of my life. My wife, Echo, who... who month after month, year after year for 20 years, told me that one day, one day, my time will come. Dreams are something you have to believe in. I almost gave up on mine. To all of you out there, please keep your dreams alive. That was very inspirational. I'm super happy for him. That's all I got for you guys this segment. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all on the next episode of The 3Ms. Peace. That was some very interesting information. Can't wait to see who wins at next year's Oscars. Now, for all you WWE fans out there, we have Craig in his sports entertainment segment. What's up, everyone? My name is Craig Hill, and I'm a freshman at Jamrock Tech High School. And today, I'll be covering sports entertainment. If you don't know what's happening on April 1st to the 2nd, WrestleMania 39 will be taking place in Englewood, California at the SoFi Stadium. Some of the greatest wrestlers that you'll get to see on April will be Brock Lesnar, John Cena, Drew McIntyre, and Rey Mysterio, and a newcomer, Logan Paul. Now that you know about WrestleMania, let's take a look back at some of the greatest stunts of all time. This year's WrestleMania could be the biggest event today because you might never know who else is going to be there and what kind of stunts they're going to pull. Well, that's all I have for today. Peace. Thanks, Craig. This year's WrestleMania looks awesome. I can't wait. Now, because tomorrow's Friday, we have some sick beats that'll make you feel all the vibes. Here's Justin with New Music Fridays. What's up guys, it's Justin. You know what time it is. It's New Music Fridays. Last week's artists Black, Juice Road, IDK, Don Tolliver, and Internet Money dropped some new songs that we're going to feed. Don't take it personal. You know I know it hurts to go. You know I'm a mess so be there when I feel it. Now that you heard a snippet of their songs, let's see what Ray takes to this thing. What's up, everyone? I'm here with Randy right now. What's good, what's good? So, what do you think about Black's new album? I don't know. Never heard it before. But... You never heard it, you never heard it? All right, hold on, hold on. Nah, I don't like it, I don't like it. Why do you say that? Because it's not my type of music. Damn, all right, all right, Th thanks for being with us. Know, all right, so we're here with Gabe, Yo, what's up, what's up? What do you think about IDK's new song with Rich the Kid? I thought it was fire. Me personally, I really liked Rich the Kid's part more than anyone else's. So why do you say it's fire? I say it's fire because like Rich the Kid, I'm not going to say that he carried because IDK did really good, but I think Rich the Kid did even better. What's up, everyone? So we're here with Craig right now. Yo, what's up, people? Have you heard Juice Run's new song? Yes. So what do you think about it? You think it's fire or you think it's, it's, it's trash? Hmm, honestly, I give it a 9.2. So, why you say that? Well, honestly, because it, because the beat was a little off and it like needs a little more work. That's all for this week. Next time we'll preview some more songs that drop on Fridays and hear what you guys think about them. I'll see you guys next time. 
Nice tunes, Justin. Now I know we're all hyped up for Friday. But for the people out there who don't want the music to end, we have Esvin with his music series, Artist Spotlight. What's good with y'all? I'm Esvin, and for today's Artist Spotlight, we have Young Dog. Born July 27, 1985, in Chicago, Illinois, Adolph Robert Thornton Jr., better known by his stage name, Young Dolph, was an American rapper based out of Memphis. In 2010, Young Dolph created the record label, Paper Route Empire, which is home to many artists from Memphis today, like Key Glock. In 2016, he released his debut album, King of Memphis, which peaked at number 49 on the Billboard 200 chart. Throughout his career, Dolph has been featured on many iconic tracks, such as Cut It, some of his po most popular tracks, such as Major, featuring Key Glock, uh, uh, and 100 Shots. Got a sweet tooth, but, I stay away from suckers. but right, Young Dolph was shot in broad daylight in Memphis today. Let's bring in Arthur Chen now with the latest on Wall An autopsy revealed that Thorin had 22 gunshot wounds from bullet entries and exits. His life was cut short, but his legacy lives on to this day as the King of Memphis. That's all the time we have for today, but make sure to check out Young Dolph on our stream platform. See y'all next time. That's the key thing to success, bro. Like, everybody want to be like, how you get successful? How you do it? How you do that? Like, how you actually do it? Like, it's something so hard to do, which is really not. Key thing is like, bro, never stop. Now, to top things off, we're going from musical artists to artist artists. For our last segment, we're going to be looking at some of the drawers and doodlers and artists assemble, starring yours truly. Hi there, my name is Haley Archer, and welcome to Artists Assemble. Today, we're going to be interviewing some of the other artists around here at Rye Tech. Now, let's get started. And now, in plumbing, we are with Brianna. So, Brianna, do you like to sketch? Yeah, so fun. That is very nice. Do you have a sketchbook? Um, no, I don't. That is also very nice. Now, let's see that beautiful artwork of yours. That is incredible. How long did it take you? It took me two hours. No, um, like 10 minutes. Amazing work. I am like Why you so proud of you. Why you, you? And, and that's it. And now we have another human artist, Marco. Hey. So, Marco, do you consider yourself an artist? <clears throat> mm, kinda. Very good. Do you have a sketchbook? No, I don't. That's tragic. And one more question. Do you use tutorials or are you self-taught? Self-taught. Amazing. Now let's see that beautiful artwork. Amazing work! Such beautiful monstrosities, but not as beautiful as my work. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. Well, we met a lot of great artists today, but that's all the time we have for now. I'm Haley Archer, and I'll see you next time on Artists Assemble. Well, thank you, me. Other artists like me are always making cool work to show. Well, we had a lot of fun today looking at the newest games, music, and other hot topics, but we're gonna have to leave for now. But always remember to get right.